But what I'm trying to show here is that if you think of polyhedra as containers and containers of useful information, then there's you can get access to what, how does nature use structural integrity? And structural integrity is this idea that nature takes all of these different functions and interconnects them so that each function helps the other function. And that's what's really lacking in anything that we do when we solve our problems is that, okay, this does this function well, that does that function well, but they don't interconnect. So if I can show you that at the most fundamental structure, everything is connected to everything else, everything knows exactly where it is in relation to everything else, then there's hope for us. You know, all we have to do, you know, we're a herd, we're, we're connected to our, our biosphere, then we can make it, uh, you know, we just have to figure out a way to start interconnecting our functions. Here, here, here are the, the six shapes that we're going to be working with. It starts with the rhombic dodecahedron, and this is an amazing, amazing uh, container. I call it the, uh, it's sort of like the alpha container because everything fits inside of it. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that later. There's the octahedron here, and the octahedron, well, the first thing that we're going to find out when we start taking these models apart is how the octahedron is inside of here. and we make these, slice these off here and the octahedron's inside there and that's a quarter tetrahedron that makes this guy, the tetrahedron, the four-sided shape. This is the minimum inside-outside shape. There's the cube and then uh, the coupler and these two have the same volume inside of them. They look completely different and they're exactly the same. And there's a way to scientifically prove that and we can talk about that later as well. And the last one is the half size vector equilibrium. So this is at the 12 centimeter that is the first limit, and this is its half limit. So basically what we're gonna do is go from here to its half limit here. That's gonna be in the center of these. And then in the center of this is this half, octa half size octahedron. So if we could kind of divide up, we've got four sets of models. If we could divide up into four teams, and if there's too many people, then we can, I have other models that we can start taking apart. If you turn it, this, this made the rhombic dodecahedron, right? And then you take, that's the coupler. Here, and so inside the coupler is this small octahedron. That's a general rule that anytime you have a coupler here, then there's an octahedron that's inside of that. And if you turn it inside out, it starts making the internal structure of the cube. For example, here is, now you can see that these half octahedrons here And then see, that's why uh, it's, it, when you start thinking everything interconnected, then you can see that the cube is so misunderstood. There's a cube right there. Have you ever seen a cube that looks like that? <laughs> and so here you can see everything, it's always about the center. You know, that things grow out from the center. And so then here you can see that there is the vector equilibrium. There's the triangle there, and there's the six. You say things grow up from the center of that center edge. Yes, but we're starting with just one center. Let's have everything grow up from the same center. Yeah, but it's, you know, right now we're just sort of having one spot so that we can get a, a grasp of how everything relates to everything else. But it, in nature, that's indeed what it does. Is that the, there's some kind of cycling of having new um, centers grow out. Like we're trying to develop a modular building system with one of our part of our group is a, an architect from Brazil, and what we found is that you, what you need is to have all of them together and interconnected to each other so that you can mix and match them. And how you slice up the whole instead of starting with each individual and understanding them, how they function individually, you start with the whole thing and divide that up. And the platonic solids are there, there's some of the Archimedes solids, but that's 
you know, that for the practical use of it in building, you need to know how each one of the parts relates to the other. And so that's what the orientation is here. And so, you know, I don't mean to disparage geometry and how it's been taught for 2,000 years, but uh, if you really need a practical way to use it as a modular building system, then this gives you all of the linear measurements are all relative to each other. So that whatever's this measurement here is related to this measurement here, and every measurement knows its relationship with every other measurement. Okay. The closest vacuum is from the center. I'm sorry. Yellow, yellow. Oh. What turns out in the way I did it to high school students is that there's a whole the lot of that, 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 that of what is a, there, seems to be a very familiar, regular, regular dome shape. shape. But there's a lot of stuff. And like to find ultimately this shape and that green shape are intimately that two of these can make one of those. Well, Polar refers to it as the cup one. No, this is the whole thing. Yeah, this is the cup one. And then you can build with just four of them. Oh, yeah, that's the cup one. 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 But then these fit on here. He doesn't have a name for them, actually. He, 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 said, he, said, he said we might call it the T. <laughs> and so yeah. it twists down and you go from a six volt to a five volt. Oh, he's done this? I've never seen it. Uh, 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 and so I think that's how you get the five volt finishing. Or can you have it around a non existent center, center, center uh, or a non equal sized center. center? It's just a point in space as opposed to a solid object. Whereas in a vector equilibrium, it's the closest to one that has a center. I see. This is actually such a small room. Well, I think that for myself, well, what, what are we going to get? All of the basic the structure things I think are top comes from these, really helps you get an understanding of how to do the logic. Also, simple uh, and interconnected. Yeah, you know, I think that's one of the greatest things he's done. done but his axes, everything that some guy like me, you have a reference point out for all the things <laughs> that I can by myself. Touch. That, that, I find that fascinating. was very reassuring to me. The whole purpose of our collaborative is to get this information out into the hands of people who want to try to solve problems. And that this is about how nature structures things at the very beginning, so it obviously is some kind of important information. Now, we haven't figured out the, exactly the best way to get this information out, so that's why we're asking for you all to collaborate with us today and start a dialogue.